Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lisa from Swooches Makeup Artistry. This is my very first tutorial that I am publishing, so I hope you guys like it. I have already primed my face. What I'm going to do today is show you guys a neutral look that you can rock any given day. I also have a slight touch of eczema, so I'm using a hydrocortisone cream by Aveeno. I'm just going to apply that to my problem areas before I put on any foundation. Um, sorry for the voiceover. I am so not a morning person. You guys, I promise you that a voiceover is better than hearing me in the morning, okay? I'm just putting on some good old chapstick right there. That is just helping to prime my lips. Okay, and I start off with my brows. So what I'm using here is a brow pencil by MAC called Spike. What I do, I am first just trimming or should I say outlining my natural brow shape and then I'm going to fill it in. I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to makeup or brows, so you'll see me messing around with them for quite some time. Um, there are some days when I get it instantly and there's other days where it takes a little bit more time. What I'm doing now is I am putting a concealer which is just one shade above my complexion at the top that will give the brow a clean and sharp look. I don't like going over with the concealer any brighter than that because it looks too fake. As, that's my opinion. Um, underneath I am using a concealer that's two shades lighter than my complexion. And that is because that concealer is also going to help shape the brow but it's going to serve as a um, highlighter as well. Now I'm just filling them in and I'm going to brush them and what I'm doing now finally I'm using my e.l.f. gel and that's a brow set. Onto the eyes I'm using a paint pot by MAC and it is called Painterly and I'm just using that as an eyeshadow base. What that will do is help the eyeshadows pop, it'll help them last longer and it will also help the shadows from creasing. I'm going into my original Urban Decay Naked palette and I am picking up Sidecar. Okay, now Sidecar is going to appear to be just about the same color or tone as the paint pot that I already put on. Um, but you'll see the difference once I get the rest of the eyeshadow on. And I'm just going over that. Okay. What I'm going to do now, I am picking up from the same palette. Uh, the color is half baked. Not that one, but yes, that one. I'm going to pick up half baked and I'm just going to place that right in the center of my lid just to give it some pop. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold color. Um, and I, I really like this palette. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to also use another one of my favorites. Um, right now this is a custom made palette from MAC that I um, did and I'm just going to take brow script and I'm just going to put that in my crease. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just blend it so that it will be a smooth transition from one color to the next. It will give it a more natural look. And don't ever be afraid to try colors or, you know, as you can tell that it was very pigmented when I first put it on. But blending works wonders. So you don't have to start over. Just keep trying. It's all about trial and error. And what I'm doing now is going into my other favorite palette. It's Lorac Pro. And I believe I am using Crimson. I'm not too sure. But I believe that, or it's called Garnet. I'm sorry. I'll have everything at the, in the description at the bottom. I'm just placing that garnet right on top of the brown script. Just giving it a little bit more definition with that color. And I believe now I am moving on to a limited edition duo shadow from MAC. And it, it's called Under Your Spell. I'm taking that bronze shimmer and I'm just going to place that on top. Right in the crease. And basically it's, it adds a little sheen to it. You can't see it as you see I'm messing around. But... It's still cute. <laughs> the results are in the end. Alright, that is also, I'm using a fluid line from MAC. It's called Black Track. And I'm going to use that to line the top of my eyes. I'm sorry, my upper lash line. I start off with short strokes and then I just 
gradually you know drag it from there it's pretty easy to do it's very um has a creamy texture and it lasts all day long so and i'm just using a little small concealer brush you can use an angled brush um but you know this one works for me i can really make any brush work for anything i'm i promise you guys you work with what you have so and also you don't have to get all the products that i list to create this look i'm going to also do some tutorials with drugstore brands okay right now i'm using my favorite mascara for the moment which is mac zoom and it is um waterproof I'm not putting on any false lashes i rarely do that unless you know if it's a special occasion because i have pretty good lashes right there i am just blending again and i believe now i am getting ready for foundation that is mac studio fix and it is an nw43 that is my shade what I'm going to do is take a kabuki brush. I just dab about five drops on there. And I'm going to dab it on my face. And now I'm just blending it out. Blending it in, out, whatever. You get the gist. Okay, now I am just filling in my water line with a black liner. It is a coal pencil from MAC. And it is called Feline, I believe. Um... And that was a special edition as well, or a limited edition. I can't remember which one it came from, which collection, but it's a very dark, rich black. I made a boo-boo, so I'm fixing it with concealer. Now I'm going to take some more concealer, and that is NW40. Again, a shade lighter than my own complexion, just one. I'm going to dab that underneath my eyes, and I'm just patting it. It's just going to give it a little highlight underneath the eye. It's going to clean things up and just open the eyes a little bit. Okay. And it really looks like my forehead has a bulb on it, but it's just the lighting. Right there, I'm just setting everything. Right. Now I'm going to move on to the blush. I am using NARS and the blush is called Oasis. It's one of my favorites. It's like a muted pink with shimmer in it. Okay. So now I'm moving to my lips. I am using Cork Lip Pencil from MAC. I'm just going to outline my lips with that and fill it in just a little bit. Filling in your lips with the lip liner will help lipstick adhere and last longer. That's a, a, always a trick for lipsticks, no matter high end, low end, whatever. Lining your lips will help your lipstick last. And I am using one of my favorites, Lip Tar by OCC. And it is called Kava Kava. It has a very, oh, excuse my eyes. <laughs> it has a very um, peach undertone. Almost scary at first. <laughs> but um, we're going to make it work. And for on me, it really appears as a neutral lip. I'm just going to take some of my pencil and trace over it again to try to give it a little bit more of a neutral look i guess i'm satisfied <laughs> and that's that thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you enjoy and i hope you subscribe smooches